is our fuck hyper capitalism what's your opinion on a married couple combining incomes into one account i'm strongly opposed to it i am opposed to it as well zara uh basically uh, and by the way in canada they changed the laws it's no longer as beneficial for taxation purposes uh, i just found this out recently um <laughs> not because i'm married but because uh i i've had interactions and i have interactions with personal finance advisors and whatnot and they informed me that the tax benefits of getting married have been reduced in canada i'm not sure how it works where it is in the united states but if you're getting married to be able to save on taxes right you're doing it wrong okay you can form a corporation and save way more on taxes than you would on a marriage that's insane right and a corporation you can dissolve with in general much less hassle than the corporate entity that you people create when they introduce a centralized power into their personal intimate relationships may it be church may it be state may it be whatever it is you're giving them power over your estate up to you if you want to do it uh, i personally vote against it unless it's 100 percent necessary okay and sometimes it is sometimes it is don't get me wrong and some people uh, and by the way disclaimer when there's children involved it's a different game because when there are children involved you actually i believe have more rights over the children if you're a married couple than you would be if you weren't married right so i'm just talking non-married people when you have and this is like any corporation right when it's changing direction right uh getting into uh areas that they did not were not in right <laughs> regarding taxation protection whatever it is right the purpose right then you have to reevaluate your corporation that you have created on that marriage sleepaway zari marriage stems from capitalism and heterotonormative backwards ideals <laughs> no, no, no. 